Hello everyone and welcome to the last episode of my mini adventure to Arctic Norway. The past couple of days had been amazing and really productive in terms of photography. I had captured many thousand images of some truly unique species and was already more than happy with the results I'd gotten. On the last day of my trip, I headed out with an open mind and no expectations, just a goal of simply enjoying some time in nature with my camera. I started off by heading to the local Kittiwe colony, where the conditions were looking perfect for some atmospheric images. Now, as you see, right behind me, there are some quite dark storm clouds that are rolling in over the sea and I'd love to incorporate those dark blues into my images. So I think that's going to be a goal for this shoot to get those clouds in my images. If you've followed me on Instagram for a little while, you might know that one of my favourite subjects to work with is the whooper swan. So what better way to round up this fantastic trip to the Arctic than to photograph the whooper swan. Well, part of the reason why I love the whooper swan is because of its elegance. They are big white birds uh, with massive wings and a long neck and a really proud posture and also they're really hardy birds they manage to endure really cold temperatures and they overwinter in uh, great parts of Norway as you can see behind me there are quite dark clouds in the sky which makes me rather excited because getting an image of the whooper swans against such a deep blue background will be a completely new image for me and for me who's worked with whooper swans for many years and captured many thousands of images of these uh, it's nice to get some uh, some new results another reason why I love the whooper swans is their call uh, to me their call is just like a symbol of the truly wild Nordic wilderness. So whenever I hear their calls, they're kind of like trumpet calls. Whenever I hear those, I get goosebumps and I get a real sense of wilderness. They're only making some discreet calls, uh, but during spring, when they are uh, rather territorial, uh, they make a lot of noise and I love those trumpet calls. 
So now my plan is just to sit here for a while and take things slow and probably take some photos and just enjoy the company of these beautiful wild whooper swans. As I was photographing the whooper swans, I noticed that there were quite a few oyster catchers. These uh, black and white wading birds with a long orange bill. Uh, I noticed that every now and again, these were patrolling the beach. And as they did so, they would pass by this beautiful backdrop with deep blue clouds and far off into the distance, some mountains on the other side of the fjord. So my plan now is just to sit down here for a little while and hopefully if I'm lucky they might come by and I can get some images as they fly against this beautiful backdrop. Now it's just a case of waiting until they hopefully show up. Oh here they come. That was just as I had imagined it. It flew perfectly against this backdrop and just in between the clouds and the mountains in that light spot.
This fun little shoot of the oyster catches is going to be the last from my adventure here to Finnmark. But to round things up, firstly, I have to thank Shalg. Without Shalg, this trip wouldn't have been anywhere close to how successful it's been. So if you are planning on traveling to Varangir to photograph wildlife, you know who to contact. I'll leave his uh, contact information in the description below. But then the only thing remaining is to say thank you all so much for watching and for following me along on this little adventure. And I hope you've enjoyed. And if so, please do leave a like. And if you want to stay tuned for other adventures in the future, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything new. So thank you all for watching and goodbye for now.